Hello, today we're going to be creating a PVC rocket launcher. I have half inch PVC pipe. I have a 12 inch piece, an eight inch piece, two three inch pieces, three inch and a half, four 90 degree elbows, a T, I'm not sure what they call this, and a four way. We're gonna start with the longest piece and attach to this the four way. On the sides of that, we're going to insert our one and a half inch pieces and our 90 degree elbows. Then to this end, we're going to attach one of our three inch pieces and the T-shaped piece. And then another one of our three inch pieces, a 90 degree elbow, our last one and a half inch piece, another 90 degree elbow, and then our eight inch piece. Now this allows us to have an adjustable angle so that we can test different angles and see if um, a rocket launches farther at a shallower angle or a steeper angle. And to our other end, we are going to use a bottle. And I'm not gonna push the bottle all the way into here because what I want to be able to do is to stomp on this part. So I don't want the PVC pipe all the way in there because then I'm gonna hit the PVC pipe when I stomp on this. So I'm gonna pull it back so that just a couple inches of it are inside and it stops before where I'm going to hit this with my foot. And then we're going to build a rocket for this side which will be in my next video. Now it's time to make our rockets. We're gonna start with an eight and a half by 11 sheet of paper. I've folded mine in half, kind of so it's in a book shape. And I'm going to cut this in half. And I have my tape dispenser handy. What I'm going to do is to tightly wrap this around this PVC pipe. this the tall way as tightly as I can around here and this one it's okay if it's not perfect because this actually is not going to be used all right so I'm going to use a couple pieces of tape one at the bottom one at the top and then I'm going to, let me angle this a little bit so you can see the top. I'm gonna to fold in a little bit of this top all the way around and tape it down so that air doesn't go through it. Use a couple pieces of tape just to hold that in place. Just like that. Now we're going to take the second sheet of paper and we're going to do this again because this is actually going to be the rocket that we use. That first piece that I taped on was just a spacer to give us a little bit of space so that the rocket slides off this PVC pipe a little easier. So I'm going to use three pieces of tape on this one. And again, I'm going to fold in the tip a little bit so that air doesn't escape through the top. Put a couple of longer pieces of tape over that to hold it in place. Like that. Now we're gonna take it off and take out the inner one. And you can use this as a rocket if you want. But I like this outer one I'm going to save that because it slides on and off a little bit easier. Whereas this one that we put on really tight to begin with, I have a harder time getting it on 
and it has a harder time sliding off because there's a lot more friction. So we've reduced the friction by using this one. I suppose you could do the same thing by just wrapping it a little looser, but this is what seems to work for me. Now we need to put some fins on this. I'm gonna move this out of my way. I have taken some cereal box cardboard and I've cut four of these fins. And I'm gonna set them all up. I wanna make sure I'm doing them the right direction so that the tall part is going to be against the bottom of my rocket. So I'm gonna tape one of the tall sides to my rocket. Like that. And then I'm gonna try and put one on the opposite side. So again, helps put the tape on this then attach it to the rocket. Do both sides. Go. I have all four sides taped now. It's not perfect, but it'll do. Now I'm ready to take this outside and see how our rocket works at different angle settings. Maybe start with it straight up in the air, adjust a little bit, adjust a little bit more, and see which at which adjustment does it travel the farthest. So there's our rocket launcher.